Hello, you awesome friends. This is your pal Edwards here speaking. Welcome to our next networking Zoom on Thursday, the 21st of January. If you've just come in, give yourself a round of applause and the person next to you and a big welcome. We have got an hour of power together. It's very, very exciting. Um, I don't know where everyone is today, but at least the important people have shown up because that is what completely matters. So a big welcome, welcome. So now just the first few things I just want to go through in order to kick off our wonderful event. So first things first, my friends, we're going to go to this very, very cool PowerPoint, giving you some very cool details. So firstly, welcome to this networking event. It's your chance to promote yourself, drive your influence and make friends. And just quickly, that photo you're seeing there was our face-to-face -face meetup in Sydney, which was just on Tuesday. We had such a great looking group of people. And for those in Australia... We've now got meetups in Melbourne, Canberra, Brisbane, and Sydney. So you're welcome anytime you want. This webinar, um, this meetup you're on is being recorded. So um, yeah, please uh, enjoy yourself, keep it all clean, but also as well, be quite clear. So as people watch the recordings, they can connect with you. And also too, please keep your microphone on mute. Just keep the audio clean for the experience. Take photos, share them online, be super positive, keep the humor clean and polite and use the public and private chat. And this is very important actually. Don't just listen to me or listen to other people. Do that too. But use the chat. Talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. You can share links and go for it. And, of course, as well, use LinkedIn to connect and build awesome relationships. Now, as a quick thank you to our um, some of our wonderful sponsors and supporters, Novotel, Log Me In, Victory Offices and Meet Up and More. Big thank you to those who support us. And also, too, I just want to go through some of our wacky commanders. We've got the legendary Adrian Lee from Melbourne. Make sure you connect with Adrian, who is a great guy. We also got the wonderful Lassie as well. Can we give a round of applause to Lassie who's on the line? Wonderful round of applause to legendary Lassie. We've got Annette Parker from Queensland. Now, everyone show your bicep in honour of Annette's buffness. And I was going to zoom up on that. See that depth? See, look at Annette's biceps. Who, put up your thumbs if you think that is, there's some depth there. I think that's a good bicep. So Annette obviously hits the gym, which is good. So very buff Annette. We've got legendary Simon Bowden. I think Simon's in yet, but he should be in a bit later. So stay tuned for Simon. He's a high-end business coach and marketing consultant. The legendary Stephen Hutchin. Um, I don't think he's joining us today because he's got an event on tonight, but he's um, one of our wonderful friends from Sydney. Stay tuned. You've got the legendary Isabel Franklin. She's at work today, so she may or may not make it, but we love Isabel Franklin, top leadership coach. And, of course, we've got Tremaine Murphy from Melbourne, who is a great guy on many levels who helped us get the legendary Justine. Everyone wave to Justine, who's Lassie's assistant, comes via Tremaine Murphy. And, of course, we've got Margaret Lilburn. Margaret definitely can't make it today because yeah, everyone's busy tonight. So for those that made it, big thank you. And, um, and of course, well, the legendary Dr. Liz from the Gold Coast. She is an absolute winner as well. So big welcome, everyone. And as soon as we've got heaps of events coming up, so stay tuned for all of them. So a big welcome to you, absolute winners on many levels. So... Let's dive into the meetup. Now, we'll start off by picking up one of our wonderful commanders. We've got the legendary Annette Parker. How are you doing today, Annette? Yes, I'm well, thanks, Edward. But uh, I still can't believe you stalked my Facebook and stole that photo. And now you're telling people to look at my biceps. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> yeah. so on that note, uh, um, I found that I had to go back quite a bit in your Facebook to find that awesome photo. I know. I know. Yeah. And secondly, your bicep is awesome. You're one fit lady and power to you. That was a few years ago. I need to do some more work to get up to that level. But, yeah, still there, hopefully. Anyway, um, how are you? Oh, it's, it's great having you with us, Annette. Um, tell us a little bit about you and what you do and that type of thing. Okay. Well, uh, as many of you know, I am a coach and I specialize in helping people who are empaths and highly sensitive people to set boundaries, learn how to say no, deal with toxic behavior and just cope with triggers all around because they feel things quite deeply. So, you know, to quote what I've quoted a few times, one in five people, guys. So that will mean your child, your brother, your mother, your father, it could be anyone. So the more we sweat, like spread awareness about this trait, uh, I think the easier we will find to communicate. And I just think it's a wonderful, uh, a wonderful trait to know about if you are a parent, because 
let me tell you, bringing up a child that was, you know, very highly sensitive, she used to get very, very overstimulated. So the first two years of her life were hell for me and for her. I just didn't realise. So I'm really glad that more information is out there and there is a lot of information, even though we need more research. So that's what I do. And uh, currently training for youth mentorship to reduce youth suicide between 15 and 19 years of age. And also speaking to a number of stakeholders in regards to maybe going back into some sort of case management. And so all of this aligns with my coaching and uh, it's a perfect adjunct. So that's me in a nutshell. Incredible. And um, also too, Annette, we might actually meet face-to-face in Queensland on our meetup coming up if we're lucky. I hope so. And do you know what? In about nine days, I am going to be right near the Victory Building for a party in the Valley. And I haven't been to the Valley for years and years and years. So I will definitely check out the building on the way past. Um, Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I, I really hope you can come and I want you to bring Lassie with you. We will try pending borders and Annette as well. Um, I'll have to get another photo of you as well. Please feel free to send me a photo to replace you working out in the mountains. <sighs> okay, I will do. I'll find one that's a little bit more suitable. But anyway, um, just on, on that note, thank you, Nicole Oten, for the interview this morning. It was awesome and um, really appreciated it. It was like talking to someone that I've known for years and yet we've never actually physically spoken. So Love her work. She's an amazing lady doing amazing things. So connect with her if you haven't already. Oh, legendary. We have a round of applause to Annette Parker. Annette, we really appreciate you. you. We're going to bounce over to Adrian Lee and then Phoebe Lay, and then we're going to do some elevator pitches. So I know Adrian's got to go soon because he does have um, parent duties. And Adrian, how are you, my friend? Oh, you know, it's great to be here. How's everyone going? I'm like, it's so good to be back here. Uh, back in the networking online. How's everyone enjoying it so far? It's great. Um, Everyone's good. having a wonderful time. And I know you've got to go soon, Adrian. So can you tell us a little bit about you and what you do and what's been happening in the world of Adrian Lee? Oh, dude, it's been amazing. So I do actually do a couple of things and I'll, I'll try and keep it as simple as possible. So the first thing I do is uh, I'm a master coach and online personal trainer. Um, and I help people just become the fittest, strongest, healthiest version of themselves. So they can crush it in all areas of life, Uh, not only um, fitness, but business relationships, whatever it is, right? Uh, The second part of it is um, I help online coaches, um, personal trainers, gym owners, wellness coaches, whoever um, from all industries optimize their LinkedIn profiles uh, and actually actually monetize uh, LinkedIn so they can actually grow their business. And more importantly, I think this is a game changer is actually leverage your current connections, leverage the relationships you have uh, because each one of us, like as you say, Ed, it only takes one person to change your life. Yeah. It really does. Like, um, you know, being connected with Ed, Lassie, everyone here, leverage the partnerships, connect other people with other people, right? That's the key because that's the fastest way people are going to get to know you um, and then start talking about you. So that's th- this this year is going to be a game changer for that. So um, connect other people, build relationships, think about others, and that's what we do. Oh, legendary. And um, yeah. could we give a big round of applause to Adrian? Adrian, Thank love you. your work. And Thanks also it. Adrian and Simon, they run our meetups in Melbourne. So um, if you're in Melbourne, make sure you hit the meetups down there. Very, very good. Thank you. Oh, pleasure, Adrian. And um, also to Adrian, I have to go soon. So make sure you speak to Adrian now and connect with him right away before he dashes. That's a pleasure. Let's bounce over to the legendary Phoebe Lay. Phoebe Lay, um, welcome back. It's great to see you. How have you been during this incredible break? Hey, guys. It's really good to be back. I mean, my gosh, it's been such a such a great start to 2021 starting the year with having ed in melbourne us catching up here in st kilda seeing adrian lee in person and you know a few others and um and it's just so good to get outside of just digitally meeting people but i'm basically the digital marketing coach so my specialty is facebook ads social media, Instagram, uh, generating leads through LinkedIn and also helping people to 
pretty much optimize their speak like their website so optimize their seo on their website so that their website is ranking higher on google we've had a client um that's been working with us for literally just one month and they've already uh come up as page one um, for branding expert in her area, in her suburbs. So it's been so cool just to see such great results for our clients. Um, so if anyone wants to, you know, learn more about social media, um, we have got a clubhouse room that is happening tonight at 9 p.m. So if you're already on Clubhouse, I'm loving the app, by the way. It's so cool. It's like listening to a podcast that's live all day long and being able to jump in rooms and, and contribute and, like, you know, be contributing to, like, a podcast but, you know, a room. So we have that happening tonight at 9. If you haven't actually got a Clubhouse invitation yet and you're, like, waiting for someone to use up their two invitations to let you join, let me know because I've, I've got quite a few um, from just all the points that I've gathered from letting people in and stuff like that. So let me know and um, and I'll send you details for tonight. Oh, it's a pleasure. I was going to say, um, without um, knowing how Clubhouse works, have you got a link or something you can share, Phoebe, uh, to, so people can connect? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I will um, I'll share a link in this chat as well. Oh, beautiful. And um, and Phoebe, just while I've got you to, you're coming to, you're based in Melbourne, Australia, and you're coming to Sydney soon. Is that correct? Yes, I am. Finally, these like border, you know, restrictions have really changed plans for me, but I'm really keen to finally get up there and, um, you know, just, yeah, just to see the people over in New South Wales. There's so many people that I've spoken to that I haven't quite met yet. Oh, very good. And a bunch of people are, tr are struggling to get in a clubhouse. It looks like you're going to be the um, the heroic lady tonight, Phoebe. You're going to solve a lot of people's problems. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely send me a direct message. And and if we if I miss it on this chat, then send me a direct message on Instagram or LinkedIn. Um, and I'll because I'll, I've got some um, invitations and I can like send people a personal link. I just need their numbers and things like that. So happy to do that. Fantastic. Can we give a big thumbs up to legendary Phoebe and a big welcome in? Now, um, a few of our commanders, Naomi and Simon, have rolled in. But before we go over to Naomi and Simon, I just want to do a few elevator pitches. So um, we'll do we'll um, get Naomi and Simon up shortly. But before that, I want to take a few elevator pitches from the room. So an elevator, not an elevator pitch, but say hello up to a minute. You can say hello. You can pitch your product. You can pretty much say whatever you want. And so if you want to say hello to the room, put up your hand and hold it up so I can see it. Put up your hand and hold it up. We've got Peter 1. Peter's interested. Peter 1, Joe 2, and Richard 3. So um, Peter, with his cute little chihuahua, I think. Peter, the floor is yours, man. Uh, greeting all you lovely ladies and gentlemen. I'm ECM, promoting one of the children's charity. Thank you very much for renting our services um, from me. Amazing. Uh, and uh, ADT Security, uh, Sumo, and Steve Payment Process Machine. Um, I'm here to help like uh, small and medium businesses uh, and company uh, to uh, earn residue income as a shareholder from their services instead of renting it. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you're interested in uh, making money on your essential services, um, give me a call because uh, it's, it's the only way of uh, profiting um and a few of your businesses thank you very much oh and, and thank you peter and before you go can we see your little friend who's your little friend uh, my name's lucky oh can we give some love to lucky i don't know but i'm falling in love with lucky that is a, <laughs> is that a chihuahua yeah it's pure uh, pure breed chihuahua oh my god i so want one but pc panda will get jealous so there you go <laughs> yeah she's gonna have babies i'll give you one uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Lassie will kill me if I get a if I get another pet. So Lassie will, uh, uh, I'll uh, she will. I'll be like Jesus. I'll be on a cross if I get another pet. But thank you though. I appreciate the offer. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Big thumbs up to Peter. We'll love your work, Peter. Let's bounce over to the legendary Joe and then Richard Thomas. So Joe, uh, the floor is yours, Joe. Up to a minute. Uh, unmute yourself, please, Joe. Hit that unmute key, Joe. Here we go. Sorry. I haven't been here before, guys. So um, hello, everybody. Um, 
Uh, my name's Joe Bonnington and I am, I'm known as the bucket list coach. Um, I basically use uh, physical and mental challenge and adventure and personal development uh, and self-reflection um, basically as tools to um, provide the training, the opportunity and the inspiration to help people lead a, a fitter, more fulfilled and adventurous life. Um, I own a, a gym here on Sydney's Northern Beaches and we are expanding digitally. We help everybody from people to from who are just getting out into the outdoors to um, to very, very experienced um, adventurers. I've trained more people to summit Everest than anybody else in the, the Southern Hemisphere. Um, and we've currently got people doing the first uh, preparing for the largest ever crossing of, uh, of the Antarctic by foot. So, um, yeah, and we but there are top end, but the rest are just ordinary people with extraordinary goals and people who just want to get out there and tear chunks out of life. Oh, legendary Joe. Round of applause. And Joe, um, share your links and um, what gym are you at? What's your gym, I should say? What called Joe's at? Base Camp. Oh, Joe's base camp. So if you want to climb Mount Everest or climb the stairs, Joe's your man. Is that a fair point? That's that's what we, we actually have. If you want, we do have free memberships. They're, they're lifelong memberships, but you've got to have climbed Everest or got to the South Pole or North Pole by foot. Okay. So we've got, got about from, seven members on that at the moment. Oh God. Okay. That's a bit arduous. Um, I can I come from the Middle East originally, so I don't handle cold very well. So I might have to give that one a miss. But love your work, Joe. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Welcome. We'll bounce over to Richard Thomas. Um, Richard Thomas, it was so good meeting you in Melbourne last week or the week before. Great to see you here. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Great to meet you too, finally, in person and see all the others, uh, all the other lovely people that were there at the uh, event. Um, so, yes, I'm known as your digital marketing mechanic. And what I like to do is find and fill the holes in your digital marketing universe. And one of the big holes that most people tend to have is on their actual website where when visitors come along, they come and have a bit of a read and then they bounce away again. There's nothing much else for them to do. Um, so one of my specialties is in fact in helping set up and um, optimize uh, chatbots to uh, for marketing purposes and for help purposes. So people can come onto your website and actually start a conversation with you and then continue it in Messenger when they leave the website. So um, I find that's very powerful for for people to uh, to yeah gain you know, build conversations with, with those extra leads. And so, so, so that's. So when you say a chat box, is that, is that like the chat box on your website? So you go to the website, up comes a chat box, and you can interact that way. Exactly, yep. That's right. So, I mean, that's only one of the locations you can do it. There's also all sorts of other ways of getting to a chat bot too, through printed material and offline ways as well, not just online. Wow. Oh, thank you, Richard. I really appreciate it. Can we give a big thumbs up to Richard? And, Richard, please share your links and everything. Really appreciate it. Pleasure. Now let's bounce over to two of our legendary commanders, the legendary Simon and Naomi. Um, it's great to see you both in the same place. I thought you two could never occupy the same space in time. Well, <laughs> this is the only time you actually get to see both of us together <laughs> in the one place. <laughs> but anyway, I must say, just uh, just hearing Richard there, I was, uh, I don't know what everybody else thought, but uh, I was almost ready for him to turn around and say, this is your captain speaking, and uh, we're just about to fly into uh, to Brisbane. <laughs> And exactly like a pilot. <laughs> he does look like a pilot. I could imagine Richard in like the pilot's cap and outfit and everything. Yeah, yeah. So uh, very impressed, um, Richard. And uh, and I must say, I just wanted to say a little shout out for Richard. What he does is actually brilliant. So get on board with Richard. He's uh, one cool dude. Okay. How is everyone? Oh, it's great to see you here, Simon. And I was just going to say, before we get a tip from you, yeah. Can we hear a little bit from Naomi about what Naomi yeah. does and what's happening, Naomi? Yeah, sure. I'm um my name's Naomi Jaramjuk and I'm from the brand advisory and I'm a brand advisor, graphic designer, um, and very busy in my world at the moment. Hit the ground running this year. Um, have some major projects with uh, companies moving forward. One in particular is uh, 
a registered training organization um, and they are developing uh, handheld AED, so which is amazing. So it's going to change the face of AEDs in the workplace and communities, which is awesome. Yeah. So we're taking that to market in, in March, which is great. And um, another, I just want to do a huge shout out to Nicole. Uh, yesterday, I uh, participated in one of her anger and anger management interviews and it was just such a rewarding experience and she's so awesome and the conversation was fantastic so <laughs> if you haven't already please check it out um well worth it really awesome oh incredible naomi incredible and um big yeah. thank you and uh <laughs> maximum love that's maximum love to everyone and nicole especially yeah. I think yes <laughs> and I must say, just with Nicole, I actually listened to the one with Annette Parker this afternoon and, oh, boy, you it's an awesome, awesome, awesome video interview that you do. So uh, well done to both of you. Yeah, i got to say, isn't yeah. Annette Parker a nuclear missile? She's very powerful. Uh, she's awesome. Let's face it, she's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a vote. If you think Annette Parker is awesome, can we raise your left hand? There you go. So there you go. I'm, I'm putting both I'm hands putting up. Both hands <laughs> up too. <laughs> people don't, but mate, no, just kidding. Everyone thinks you're awesome. But how are you, Annette Parker? That's good. And um, Simon, my friend, how yes. you're a you're a very powerful business coach and marketing expert. Um, what Thank marketing you. business tips do you have for us this evening? Yeah, actually, I thought uh, this would be very topical for everyone in the room tonight, um, that uh, we all aspire to be bigger and better than what we are. And we all tend to follow somebody potentially that uh, we look up to or, you know, we get uh, inspired by. So my tip today is to find someone that you, number one, relate to. So they might you might like what they do. You might like the type of work that they do. You might like the fact that they're, you know, generous. They might be, uh, you know, uh, helping other uh, organisations in, in, in doing voluntary work. They could be doing a number of different things. My tip to you is inspire yourself by following these people. When I say follow them, find out what they do. Check out what they um, what they listen to, what they do, what they who they share with. Because as we all know, by being around people that uh, that are generally better than what our you know ourselves, it tends to lift us up. And um, and by lifting us up, it, it creates positivity around us. And positivity equals success. Let's all face it. So find someone. One of the people that inspires me is Simon Sinek, um, namesake, which is great. But uh, I love reading his book and um, his book of why. Um, but it's little things, the little tips that he gives and all of those types of things. I listen to him um, through podcasts. I go on to YouTube and listen to some of his, his uh, um, podcasts as well. Um, I know who he associates with, so I check out those people as well. So whatever's uplifting is going to help you as well. So that's my tip for today. Thanks, guys. Oh, brilliant. Can we give a round of applause to Naomi and Simon? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a radio show, Naomi and Simon in the yeah. morning. Hey, you never know. You never know. Could be a webinar you, coming soon. You never know what's around the corner, guys. <laughs> yeah. And you can talk about the dangerous communist regime running Victoria and how to bring them down. I love it. There That's you right. <laughs> no, you, can, you can do that. There you go. I'll, I'll be the activist channel. I'll be the, the Middle Eastern we'll, guy. We'll stay out of politics. Yeah. We'll talk about <laughs> other things. <laughs> I'll be the I'll be the Middle Eastern guy leading the angry mob. I can do that. There you go. It's in my blood to lead an angry mob. But great to see so many faces and it's awesome to see so many new faces too. So well done, guys, and you're welcome back again. Excellent. Pleasure. Big victory sign to Naomi and Simon. Also, too, we're going to take a photo shortly. So please get ready for the photo. But in the meantime, let's do some more elevator pitches. Frisker has had her hand up forever. So Frisker's number one. I hope Frisker can hear us. Hey, I can hear you. 
I okay, guess so Frisk is number one. Who wants to be number two or three? So we've got Friska, Pauline, and Carly. So um, and don't worry if you missed out, I'll get you. So um, keep your cameras on as well because we'll do a photo soon too. And Friska, the floor is yours. How are you doing, Friska? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Apologies, I'm outside getting some fresh air. Spent all day inside, so I'm a change management consultant, trainer, coach. Uh, masterclass facilitator. I bring digital transformation to life by accelerating adoption and proficiency very fast. So that's what I do in a nutshell. And I'm based in Sydney. Oh, legendary. What big tips do you have for us? What have you learned lately from the change management universe, Friska? That, um, that what motivates one person is totally different from another and that they won't give you the reasons why um, why they're resistant against something and you need to be patient, observe and ask the right questions. Very sharp, very sharp. Friska, we absolutely appreciate you. Can we give a big round of applause to Friska? Friska, now power to you, my friend. Power to you. And uh, we've got Carlise. Uh, Carlise, how you doing? Oh, correction, we've got um, no Pauline, then Carlise, I think. So we'll go Pauline, then Carlise. Pauline, um. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night. And Pauline, the floor is yours. Hey, 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 I'm Pauline. Uh, everybody knows me as the uh, alpaca girl. Um, I left the alpaca farm this Friday, so I'm back in Sydney and I made some uh, serious changes. Um, I decided to stay in Sydney for a few months, maybe up to a year, who knows. Um, and normally I do, I have my own business in aloe vera products, but I decided to do something else uh, alongside that one. I'm becoming a life coach and motivational speaker uh, and actually specialized <laughs> in uh, endometriosis and chronic pain uh, by a woman. As last year, I had an emergency operation on my uterus and they discovered um, stay between stage three and four of endometriosis on my uterus. And because of that, I have chronic pain. And what I discovered is a lot of people don't know what endometriosis is. It's a tissue that grows on the uterus, can cause fertility problems, uh, chronic pain, and all, all of other kinds of stuff. And I decided to raise more awareness around this concept. Well, Noble's excited about your new coaching speaker moves, Pauline. I think you're a natural. I hope so. And also, um, I don't know if anybody is a fan of Tony Robbins, but I'm going to put a link into it, into the group, as tomorrow there's an event starting of him for five days. It's a free event, and it's becoming a better version of yourself. So I'm going to put it in the group and feel free to join. Oh, oh my God. Can we give maximum love to Pauline? Great cause and right with you. And get your cameras ready. We're going to do a photo very soon. And until then, we've got the legendary Carlise. Carlise, my friend, the floor is yours. Hello, everyone. Awesome people. Uh, it's great pleasure uh, to be here with you from Australia, all over the world. Uh, as somebody knows, I am from a small country in Northern Europe. And it's my pleasure to, to talk with people all over the world. But today I have great news for you. Believe or not. <laughs> Do you know? that research in the United States has shown that people with higher omega-3 level in the blood cells has 75% lower possibility to die from COVID-19 complications. Wow. And I have a method how to check and fix it, this level. So come to my LinkedIn and I will show my knowledge with you and have a, great, a good mood and great day. Thank uh -huh. you very much. And before you go, Carlis, who's that little friend on the right? Who's that little character with you? This is a little tiger. He is very brave. Oh. Never small, but very brave. And he loves all the world. Ah, oh, there we go. Give a big round of applause to Carlis. Love your work, my friend. So what I was going to say is, while we're all so attractive, can we get a group photo together? So um, now's the time to turn on your webcams. And line them up, turn on your webcams. We're going to get a group photo together. So we've got everyone active. And if Elaine's there, Peter's playing with his chihuahua. There we go. It's a good photo, actually. Hey, Peter, could you bring the chihuahua? I don't know if it will work. You got the chihuahua, chihuahua, and Elaine must be tied up. But at least we've got, I, I like to get, there we go. Uh, there's Elaine. We've got Elaine booting up. 
You're like, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, we're all in. Okay, you got to look and hold the pose. Oh, my God. Three, two, one. Look, hold the pose. Three, two, one. Big smile. Oh, hang on a sec. Give me a sec. Oh, my God. The photo was awesome. Give, in fact, I want to show you all the photo. The photo was actually one of the best ever. Hang on a sec. I'm going to show you all the photos on my PC. Look at that photo there, my friends. And look at Nicole. See what Nicole's doing there. She got the perfect cat shot. There you go. And you can see my screen. And there we go. We got Justine's looking. Phoebe's looking wonderful. Julie's in the zone. Annette Parker's glowing. And um, there we go. We've got a um, little, um, I think everyone used to watch Ren and Stimpy. I think Ren was a chihuahua, if that's correct. I don't know if I remember. Is that right? Am I right or wrong on that one? I might be completely wrong. I, I'm trying to remember back to the 90s here. I'm not doing a good job. So just also, if you just come in, a big welcome to you. It's a big pleasure. If you've been here since the start, a big welcome. So um my brain's not working so let's keep it all moving let's in fact now i'm looking at the screen let's do this shall we let's take a few more elevator pitches from you people in the room so if you want to do an elevator pitch please put up your hand and hold it up especially if you haven't spoken yet so i can get you so we've got cammy julie and huni if you don't if you've missed out don't worry i'll get you so we'll do Cammy, Julie, and Huni. Um, so Cammy, the floor is yours up to a minute. Cammy, Julie, and Huni. Cammy, the floor is yours. Oh, sorry that I'm late. I overslept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Edward. Hi, everyone. It's um Cammy from London. Nice to meet new people as well. Um, I'm a health and wellness coach as well as I do two jobs. I'm a busy woman. <laughs> so if you're looking to improve your health, whether weight loss, weight management, energy and performance, I can help anyone overseas, 26 countries, Australia, America, and so many other countries, but I'm not going to say that all. If you're interested, my LinkedIn account's in the chat box. Thanks, Edward. Oh, I got round applause to Cammy. Love you, Cammy, and beautiful. We'll bounce over. I think I said Huni, then Julie. I could be mixed. Oh, we'll go. Was it Julie and Huni or Huni and Julie? It was Julie, I said. Did I say Julie? I did say. Yeah. Julie, the floor is yours, my friend. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Julie Sini. I am a, I'm what they call the legacy queen. So 15 years ago, I started a charity after I lost both my children. Um, and I teach people how to, and educate people how to leave a lasting legacy. Today, I want to have a quick word about my charity. So um, it's called Spinal Muscular Atrophy Australia. Probably most of you have never heard of spinal muscular atrophy or SMA, and it's the number one genetic killer of babies under the age of two. If you've heard of motor neurone disease, then this is the childhood version of motor neurone disease. So um, just so that it's all on your radar, the three little words SMA mean a lot to me. And, um, yeah, thanks for having me on board tonight. Oh, it's a pleasure, Julie. And just um, adding to Julie's... Um Range, Julie's uh, quite active politically. She's a speaker and educator as well. So, um, Julie, she's very... In fact, can we just bounce over to Simon Bowden for a second? Simon, can you just... Um, Simon and Naomi, can you just add to Julie highly underselling herself? If you can actually um, help <laughs> sell with Julie, that'll be great. Okay. This woman is an absolute powerhouse. I've worked with her for over six years now. She's definitely goes under the radar she is a an awesome speaker she has an amazing story to tell she is um has a wealth of knowledge and she has the ability to take a little charity a little organization all the way to government and you know has just leveraged everything and is just about to get you know approval for major drugs hopefully later this year and that is you know just about sma cured and the the journey that she's had is absolutely incredible from from you know a disease which was looking like it couldn't be cured and the work that she has gone into globally and nationally working with the government and international organizations and pharmaceutical companies is amazing 
And, and I have to say just briefly, this lady has has uh, spoken in front of our Prime Minister. Um, oh, as, as <laughs> and I would have to say, uh, as a result, because this lady is inspiration on steroids, and I can multiply that by 10. That's how good she is. So it's fantastic to have her on board with us and in this community, which is great for everybody. If you haven't already, please connect with Julie because um, she is one amazing lady. Absolutely. Oh, oh my God. Big round of applause to everyone. And um, someone said Prime Thank Minister. You. Someone did say Prime Minister, and that forces me. Uh, that's not for you, Ed. <laughs> yeah. So um, just to let you know, Scott Morrison is the best Prime Minister ever, and no one loves Scott Morrison more than me. I just want to make that point clear, everyone. So there you go. I love Scott Morrison. In case you didn't know that, I love Scott Morrison. So there you go. That's a pleasure. Um, so what we'll do is we'll bounce over to Huni. Then I want to bounce over to Annette Parker. For I've got a question for Annette. So uh, Huni, the floor is yours, my friend. Oh, thanks, Ed. How's everyone? Uh, yeah, sorry. I've been like, like, you know, a while. Uh, vacuum from here because I'm not well, but now, yeah, for, you know, for the gym tonight. And hi, everyone. My name is Winnie and I'm from Sydney. What do I do? So I will call myself a relationship marketing specialist. So I'm helping all of you guys, you know, entrepreneur here to maintain your relationship with your customer through a powerful system, which is a greeting, a personalized greeting card. I know you will ask a question, how can a card, you know, maintain your relationship with your client? Because yeah, it, it is a personalized one. So I, I can't talk much here, but yeah, this is all I do. So I put my chat, uh, my my link in, you know, on the chat box, and let's connect and have more discussion about what I do and how can I help you, you know, to stand out among your client. That's all about me, Ed. Oh, we love you, Winnie. Big victory sign, applause, whatever feels right for Winnie. Love your work. And I just want to bounce. So big thank you for that. I want to bounce over to one of our legendary meetup leaders, Annette Parker. Annette, can I ask you a question? Yes. Yes, you can. What, what was your biggest lesson of learning from the crazy year of 2020? What was your big number one lesson you want to share with everyone? Uh, that change is inevitable, that uncertainty is a certainty and that you've just got to roll with the punches and just keep that bubble of positivity around you. And you know what? So many changes have happened for me since February. I spent 11 years with Queensland Health and then I left and life just became a complete whirlwind. And, you know, I think one thing, and I am going to say it just once, but one thing that, you know, I am a little bit frightened of is the censorship that's going on at the moment. So, um, you know, we all just have to really pull together uh, unite together and and stop this divide from happening because um, you know we all need to be able to express freely our opinions and we need to lose the judgment. So I think that for me, 2021 has really taught me about diversity and inclusion. She referring to yeah, absolutely, and I think that's very important. That you know, freedom of speech is an important thing, but the good news is a lot of countries are fighting back. So freedom of speech isn't going anywhere. We're going to bring it right back, is all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope so. Asia. Can we give a thumbs up for Annette for some great political commentary, which I couldn't agree with more? There you go. <laughs> it's not political. It's got nothing to do with, well, I, I guess it does. But, you know, I think this, um, I don't want it to be political. I, I, I've just finished an article because it really upset me mm. that there were a lot of innocent people that were affected in this whole scenario. Yes. So, you know, that they're the people that I, I feel for at the moment. And in fact, just on that note, Richard Thomas made a good share and I'll read them out. Um, uh, Richard's on Gab, MeWe, Telegram and Parler due to censorship. And just on that point, um, yeah, Telegram yeah. is actually really good. So if you've been affected by the censorship, make sure you get on Telegram because Telegram is becoming a real bastion for free speech. So Richard, can we give um, a big thumbs up for not only Annette Parker, but also Richard Thomas for that good little comment I just saw there. 
No, it's a pleasure. And I got to fight back against censorship. So I got to say, we're having a great meeting. We've got 15 minutes left. Let's do some more elevator pitches. I know I've missed a lot of people. So if you haven't spoken yet, you want to speak now is your chance if you haven't spoken yet. So we've got, um, what are we going to do? So, oh, okay. Got, so we've got Ashani, Anya, and Yi. And if I missed you, don't worry. So Ashani, Anya, and Yi. But if I missed you, don't worry. Ashani, the floor is yours, my friend. First of all, I'm really glad to be here because I am hearing a lot of stories and from those stories, they have they have actually stemmed out some really important entrepreneurial ventures. And I am here to provide you that platform so that you can tell your story to your customers. And more than that, I think besides telling your services or products or benefits of your products, what they can do, I, I would also like to bring the intention forward, which is what we have been discussing here and also in other networking events which in which I have attended with Edward. I was really um, thrilled to hear Julie's story. It was one story of perseverance. So re really kudos to you, Julie, on that and some really amazing stories. So what do I do? I help you with crafting stories with audio and visual communication medium. And I also help you design on digital platform. So I'm your storyteller slash digital content service provider. And uh, besides that, what I really like to do out of love is I've launched a podcast called My First Step Ever. And it is for the young aspiring leaders and students all across the globe. It has already crossed 500 uh, plus downloads. And it is just about bringing stories, people like you who have really gone far ahead in your life and taken the first step. Because let's face it, all of us know that the first step is the hardest. And I want to bring forth those very integral and struggling part of your life and how you guys went ahead to the young generation so they know how they can go past those stages and now i'm resuming with the second season this year and i also have an added addition which is that they will be concentrating more on the internal environment because the external environment keeps on changing and if they have the internal environment going strong they can actually build their life the way they want. So I will be uh, sharing my uh, website or here, I mean the link, and I'm really happy to be here again. Really glad. Thanks, Edward and Lassie. It was really nice meeting all of you. Oh, big welcome, Victory, to you, Ashani, and bless your heart. And we've got the powerhouse. Uh, Anya. Anya and I had a great chat on the phone the other day. We spoke about everything, didn't we, Anya? Oh, we did. We did indeed. We shared a lot of open secrets. Yeah, there oh, we go. We, yours. Yeah, we probably shouldn't repeat them here because we'll get into no, trouble. No, I'm going to tell us all about you, please. What have you been up to? What do you do? Um, so I'm a master practitioner of neurolinguistic programming, hypnosis and behavioral analysis. It's also called eDisc. And what I do, I help people to find solutions uh, to their problems. I work both with individuals and groups of people, particularly within an organizational setting, and two pillars uh, that I work with, and they go hand, hand in hand, that's mindset, how we view the, the situation, how we interpret it, and how we communicate. So because it also, uh, communication is often the key is all conduit for change and transformation. And to explain plainly what I do to people, I say, imagine that you have for gentlemen, it's a toolbox, for ladies, it's a jewelry box, and you have everything that you ever wanted and that you need. However, the only layer that you can easily open that you use is the top layer. So it's only 5% of what you use. And for the other layers, you need the special key. So what I do, I help people find the key. Don't look it. Oh, incredible. Incredible. Can we give a massive love heart for Anya? That is gold. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Our uh, pleasure. And um, love our chat. And hopefully I'll get to meet you soon face to face, Anya, if I can get into Queensland. Fingers crossed. Well, if not, yeah. if not this time, next time. There you go. Looking forward to it. And of course, as well, um, the legendary, I think it was Yi. Um, Yi, how you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm good, Edward. Thank you for the opportunity. 
Uh, I'm a multilingual international bookkeeper, and I also do, besides doing other people's books, I also do some uh, bookkeeping coaching, as in when you want to do it yourself, but you just don't know where to start, and I help you, I help you out um, getting your right foot forward. And also at the moment, I'm looking to become um, and also study for being a project manager for online businesses. Um, it's also tying with my bookkeeping, like, you know, coaching as in, like, you don't know where to start. And I've got the system and the steps to help you get started so you don't get overwhelmed. And that's me. And I'll put my details in the chat box. Thank you. Oh God. Yay. Thumbs up for you, Yi. We love your work. Now, um, we'll do another elevator pitch. So I know I missed a lot of people. So um, if you haven't spoken yet and you want to speak, please put up your hand. I'll get you all in. So Brian, one, Joso, two, and Shaz, three. And um, Brian, long time no see. Um, I heard, I, you said you were talking, yeah, COVID or something. What's been happening, Brian? Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I've, I've so much missed being here. Uh, I got coronavirus back on the 3rd of November, and unfortunately, I've been housebound since. I cannot get out still. I've now got long COVID, and uh, yeah, but I'm getting better. The last couple of days, I'm feeling much better, and uh, I just had to get back on here with my uh, amazing Ed and his family. And of course, Lassie, who I, sorry, I forgot Lassie. <laughs> so oh. uh, yeah, my name is Brian Morrison and I run a company called Biz Social Networking. We're an online business networking community. Uh, we, we were UK uh, only. And the last time I was here, I announced that we were launching uh, one that would include Australia, New Zealand and down your way. And then I got coronavirus. But the great news is that it's now back uh, on the calendar and we are launching a, 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 a new meeting that will connect the UK, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, uh, which will be on a Friday at the same time as this meeting uh, on the first day. So, yeah, lots of news to come. My, my thanks to everybody. And I'm so glad to be back here, Ed. Uh, and congratulations for beating COVID. Can I can I ask you a personal question? Is that all right, Brian? Yeah, I'm an open book. <laughs> what what did it what does it feel like having COVID? Right. Well, when I had when I got it, I didn't know. I had a really, really severe migraine. Uh, and that's all. I had no other symptoms. I and I don't get migraines. So I I thought, right, me and my partner, we're going to get tested. My partner was negative and I was positive. Now, over that couple of weeks of self-isolation, I felt fine, no problems. I then got tested a while later and I was negative. And then at Christmas, I was rushed in uh, with blue lights twice over Christmas because of my breathing pain all over my body, uh, couldn't swallow, and all my pain medication for my arthritis stopped working. Wow. So it completely controlled my whole body. Uh, I know the aches are starting to go. I've not slept in my bed since the 3rd of November because uh, I'm, I'm in too much pain and my partner will not get any sleep. So I've been sleeping downstairs. Uh, but yeah, it's not good. Uh, the worst part is the the aches, the, the pains all over your body and the breathing uh, concerns. But yeah, the thing is, I say uh, there's a lot of people worse than me. There's people that's lost their lives and I'm still alive. So I'm just glad to be here. Oh, my God. Can we give a massive prayer and love to you, Brian? So there you go. Um, you obviously cannot be killed. So I think you're immortal, Brian. That's all I can say. Totally immortal. <laughs> Now, maximum love to you, Brian. One of my mentors, actually, um, Stefan Thomas from the UK. Um, he's right now. He's going to pull through, but he's suffering very badly from COVID. So, yeah, uh, Ste Stefan's uh, Stefan's feeling a lot better the last uh, oh, two days. Uh, Stefan's my coach. Oh, and uh, yeah, uh, I I met Stefan uh, through for networking, the same as yourself. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, but he's pulling up and we're back uh, coaching with him from next week. Oh, there you go. Well, congratulations on beating COVID. Um, power to you, Brian, is all we can say. There you go. And Shaz, Shaz, how you doing, my friend? I'm good, thank you. Oh. I'm sorry I missed you guys on Tuesday. I was hoping to come. I just wasn't well enough. So it looked like you had fun, though. Oh, no worries. But the fact that you're here is what matters. And Shaz, tell us a bit about you and what you've been up to. I'm an intuitive life coach, a psychic medium and an author. I help people connect to their own intuitive gifts, learn how to manifest, bring positivity into their life through mindset coaching, hypnosis and spiritual development. I work a lot on the self-development, understanding the journey the soul goes through and the lessons that we learn in life. By empowering each other with the lessons that they have in life, we can really uplift other people. And it's through this empowerment of ourselves and others that we create the magic in life. Oh, powerful, powerful, Shaz. And, um, no doubt we'll catch up soon. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Pleasure. Massive victory to Shaz, and it's a pleasure. Hey, we've got a few minutes left, and there's a few of you that haven't spoken yet. So, um, in fact, Joe So, you've put up your hand before. Joe So, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Joe So. Uh, it's, it's my first time here, actually. Welcome, Joe so. <laughs> Yeah, and then... Uh, what I do is actually uh, is helping people uh, with their website. <laughs> so practically, I saw a couple digital marketer marketer here. <laughs> I'm also a digital marketer. So my special my specialty is search engine. So, uh, so not like others. <laughs> so uh, we're focusing on making a unused unused website that a website that's been there doing nothing, not producing anything, and make them work. <laughs> and generate leads for you. That's practically what we did. <laughs> so, oh. yeah, that's all. <laughs> oh, fantastic, Joseph. No, it's great having you with some. Joseph, have you got any links to share with us in the chat? Like, so people can check out you and your LinkedIn or more, please share them. Uh, so Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, I'll post it later. Awesome. Big round of applause to Joseph. Big welcome. Big welcome. Uh, please come back anytime. And who would like to speak that hasn't spoken yet? Please put up your hand. Any, would anyone like to speak? I got a few minutes left. I was waiting for you, Nicole. I was just waiting for you. I was about to, I was about to out you, but you outed yourself. Nicole, how are you doing? I feel like the last few days I've been talking so much. So <laughs> I, I thought I would just relax and listen, practice listening skills. Oh, listen a, sorry, to everyone that? else. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. No, so you don't listen, Edward. Sorry, what yeah. was that? That's what Lassie will say about no. me. I think um, it's in. I think it's important that we all take, you know, a step back and listen to each other at times. And yeah, it's not always about what we have to say. That listening is is very important. But I did write something down this afternoon uh, when I was thinking about NLP reversing negative to positive and and this come out of you know pen to paper creative energy visualize move create change within your mind make changes emotionally mentally spiritually and physically and that's really what i wanted to share so whatever you take out of that, it's up to you personally. But to me, uh, my healing journey, think, feel, and put it into action and just keep building that momentum. Incredible and yeah. deep, Nicole. And your interviews are incredible. You're becoming quite the interviewer and podcaster. <laughs> I, think, I think you said to me a while back, whatever you do, just be yourself and keep real. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink. And, yeah, just take that pressure off. If you make a mistake or you, you say the wrong word, just keep moving past it. The more you practice, you perfect. But I think when we're doing some of these podcasts or online interaction, we just need to be real, be in the moment, be our authentic self and, and offer our own individual individuality yeah 
Legendary. Big round of applause to you, Nicole. Thank and you. Oh, I'm clapping for myself. Look at my ego. I don't know. You deserve it. You deserve it. Now, it's a pleasure to say a big thank you. While I've got you all here, I'm just sharing a link now to our next uh, networking meetup, um, our next Zoom. So we're back here in a week, next Thursday, 6 p.m. Sydney time. If you can take that link and book in right now, I'd appreciate it. If there's anyone you can share the link with, please do it. Uh, and also, too, just a few other quick things as well. The wonderful Lassie, can we give a big quick wave to wonderful Lassie? Make sure you connect with Lassie before she did a networking post, which um, take a lot of people in. So jump on your LinkedIn and keep an eye on your notifications for that networking post to appear. And also, too, if we can wave to Justine, which who is Lassie's assistant. So um, I was going to say, if you um, if you are a client, please make sure you connect with Justine and just let her know that you are a client. If you're not a client, connect with Justine anyway, and she can help on board you more. So a big thank you. Um, did anyone want to say anything? before we wind up the event because um who in fact final word who wants to give the final word for the event who wants to give final words closing thoughts brian i think brian deserves closing thoughts especially that he's um taken down the china virus so brian closing thoughts are yours my closing thought is i i just want you all to know the world to know that no matter what you're going through in life there is a there is one hundred percent a bright light at the end of that tunnel. Uh, as many of you know, I was given six months to live in two thousand and five because of alcohol addiction. I've got through so much in my life, including child abuse, homelessness, and do you know something? I smile every day because I know that there's an end to whatever we're going through. So get out there, enjoy your life and run your life the way you want to. Thank you. Oh, my God, that is deep. Can we get a round of applause to Brian and a round of applause to you? Thank you for a legendary Zoom, my friends. Really appreciate you. Feel free to hang around and talk or head off, and I just want to wish you a wonderful day and evening, and bless your amazing hearts. <laughs>